celebrity train rolling as we bring up a little bit of a celebrity here. Uh, one of the funniest guys I know and the funniest cabbie you will find here in Atlanta, Mr. Philip Branch. Come on down here. That's how you hug a thin lady. You don't try and break her. You do that later. How y'all doing? That's good. My name is Philip Branch, and I'm a local cab driver here in the lovely city of Atlanta. And uh, I really like my job. And one of the things I like is when people try to give me advice. I had these two young ladies, they were about 24 years old, and they were going to give me advice on how to keep a woman. Now, I've been married over 34 years, so I don't need advice on how to keep a woman. I need to learn how to get rid of one. Especially before my wife finds out about her. But anyway, I let the ladies tell me their secret, right? And so they said, well, Mr. Cabby, you have to make them laugh. I'm like, bullshit. First woman I was with laughed so hard I ain't seen her since. That's been over 40 years. And it was odd because, you know, she lived right around the corner. I didn't see her at school. I didn't see her at church. None of the family gatherings she would come to anymore. I'm just kidding. She was the third cousin. Her two older brothers were my first and second. <laughs> but anyway, driving a cab is interesting because people uh, do some amazing things, especially now that we're in an economic crisis. They want to pay with other things. Now, white folks are cool. They want to pay with cash, credit, or coke. <laughs> when you get in the hood, it's a whole new ball game. It's like I become pawn stars in my taxi. People want to bargain. I had this guy, he had a $34 cab fare. So I was like, hey, my man, it's $34. So he pulls open his satchel, and in his satchel, neatly stacked in fives, tens, and twenties, was hair weave. <laughs> So he handed me two of them, real serious like, and said, hey, just give me three dollars back, man. <laughs> now I'm armed. I want to let y'all know, okay? So I took three 20s and a 10, and my wife has looking good ever since. <laughs> Woo! I had another dude, man, he had this sack, he was a uh, duffel bag. His bill was about $40. So he goes in, he's got kitchen appliances he wants to trade off for his cab fare. He pulls out a blender with no blades. Oh, shit. He pulled out an electric uh, can opener. It didn't even have a cord on it. But then he reached out, he pulled out this box. He said, I got something for you, man. I'm like, cool, this is some jewelry, right? Something really nice. I bust that box open, man, and it was bright and shiny. But they were teeth. A brand new set of dentures. <laughs> now, he was going to throw in a new tube of polyden and polygrip, I, I admit, okay? But I didn't know they made one size fits all dentures. And if they did, what am I supposed to do? Go home and knock out the other 26 I got already? <laughs> Put them in? Oh, that looks better. Mm, that was a good deal. <laughs> yeah, man, so to get rid of all that problem, what I did was I decided, hey, I'm going to put a sign in the back seat of my car so people will know exactly what I'm willing to do. So I made a sign that simply said, cash, grass, or ash, and I'll be right free. Okay? Now, <laughs> it worked for a while. <laughs> then I got in trouble with the city of Atlanta. Yeah, they gave me a ticket, took my sign, and then charged me with false advertisement. Because a couple gay guys from Europe were visiting, and they said I wouldn't accept all three forms of payment. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know if y'all can tell, but shit. Sometimes you just don't need any more weed. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> They wanted to pay in euros, man. I don't know how to convert that shit. 
But anyway, I told the city, hey, this thing works out evenly for the gay community overall. Because not only did I accept all three forms from gay women, I added a fourth one just for them girls. I would have had a sign for that, but I could never rhyme. Cash, grass, and ass would let me watch. <laughs> I enjoy my job. Y'all like your jobs? No. Nope. No. Any of y'all ever, like, in an office building, there's somebody, like, you're on the 35th floor, there's somebody you want to, like, throw out the window and shit? Y'all don't work with anybody like that? A boss, a coworker? Yeah. I used to. That's why I smoke weed. <laughs> It kept me from going to jail, man. This little dude had me so pissed off, man. I called the DA so I could plea bargain in advance. I wanted to put a broken leg and broken jaw on layaway. Hey, y'all, that's my time. My name is Philip Brand. Have a good night.